right now it's currently 6 23 a.m the 7th of the 4th 2024 just doing more back testing um with the gorilla trading strategy doing australian dollar us dollar in uh 2022 which currently got to march let's go see i think i want see if i can get first tracking on it there we go right so um it is currently ramadan so uh, I've done my morning Fajr prayer and obviously I'm fasting now till sunset. I think today it's about 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. So that's going to be fun. Um, my morning routine consists of uh, obviously my morning prayer, which is at 5.45 today. So that's done. And then what I do is, after I did my morning prayer, um, I read the Quran for about half an hour. That's why it's half six now. So I've been reading the Quran after my 5.45 prayer. And um, now what I'm gonna be doing is just writing out my daily goals. So I'm just gonna write at the top of my journal here. I did it yesterday, um, Saturday the 6th of the 4th, 2024, where I just write out my daily goals, my daily gratitudes, and then uh, my daily affirmations. So I'm just gonna do that for today. Today is Sunday, so Sunday the 4th, uh, Sunday the 7th of the 4th. And then I'll, I'll sign the top. just to kind of make it a bit more, you know, this is officially my goals for the day. So I call it goals instead of to-dos or chores um, because it just makes it more enjoyable to to go out there and do it. So goals, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, values. So like my gratitudes. And affirmations one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Also, you can probably see that I've got my um, my 2024 um, calendar set up now, which is pretty sweet. I've got my goals set out on there so. My goals for 2024 are, sure. uh, do a 15km run, 100k investment funding, win my boxing match. My boxing match is in um, three, six days, so my boxing got a boxing match next week. So win my boxing match, pass my theory and driving test, learn to play the guitar, Record and upload progress on YouTube, so that's what I'm doing now. I've passed my theory test, and I'm due to pass my driving test in June. Um, and then, obviously, so far I've secured £10,000 in investment funding, so 10% uh, on the way there to achieving my £100,000 investment mark. So... Because it's been Ramadan, at the start of Ramadan, I was actually quite good at going to the gym. And is that still? Hello? Is that following me? Yeah. There we go. Um, so because it's Ramadan, um, at the start of Ramadan, I was actually doing really well at going to the gym every day still. But further on down the line of Ramadan, I started to find it very difficult to continue with my gym routine um my boxing and stuff i've been going boxing once a week like I've, I've basically my workout has cut down severely due to ramadan but um it's coming to the end of ramadan now eid is on the ninth so um today i'm gonna try and get my gym routine going back again so i'm just gonna write my daily goals wake up early 
is usually my first goal of the day. Getting out of bed is in itself, you know, <laughs> um, work. Wake up early, make my bed. I don't know if any of you have read that book, Make, make Your Bed, but making your bed is like a really mentally like, good way to start your day. Make bed and then walk Fifi, my little dog. Walk Fifi. So that's what I start my day with, that goal. So make my bed, wake up early, make my bed, walk Fifi. Is usually how I start every day. And then perform we do and salah, which is, you know, the process of praying and cleaning yourself before prayer. So perform we do and salah. And salah. Half an hour, and then goals. So I'd write, I am grateful. I am so grateful for my healthy, happy nan. Healthy, happy nanny. There's my nan means the world to me and to just see her healthy and happy is more valuable to me than all the money in the world and then my affirmations so for today my affirmations are I'm the greatest trader in the world now I'm the greatest trader of all time so I am the greatest trader of all time Right, so, I don't know how well you can see that, but um, I'm gonna do, turn off face tracking, and then I'll show you. So, Sunday, 7 of the 4th, 2024. Wake up early, make bed, walk Fifi. That's Fifi. <laughs> um, perform with doing to lie, which is um basically prayer i'm so grateful for my healthy happy nanny and then affirmations i'm the greatest trader of all time so i'm just going to write that down nine times under affirmations find some different things to be grateful for and then i'm going to go to the gym once it opens it opens at 8 a.m obviously it's still half six so i'm going to keep myself occupied with some more back testing let me get this face tracking back on. There we go. Um, so I'm gonna keep myself busy doing some more back testing, do my journaling, plan my day out. Um, I've walked Fifi, but I think I'll take her for another walk. Cause she's only got little legs, so she only goes on little walks. Um, obviously I've got my yearly goals set out, which I just walked you through. Um, 100,000 pound investment funding, I wanna secure that this year. A uh, 15 kilometre run, I actually did that for the first time in my entire life. Um, a few, I think, it, uh, I think it was like two months ago, obviously it was before Ramadan started. So um, that is the furthest that I've ever actually run. I did it outside, not on a treadmill. I find it easier to run when I'm outside. Um, just because you can breathe the fresh air and when I'm on a treadmill, I find myself just staring at the, the counter the whole time, so uh, the timer the whole time, so I can't really get in the zone when I'm outside. Before, when I started like learning to run and jogging, the treadmill was extremely helpful, but now I've got to a stage where I'd prefer to do like a 3K outdoors than a 5K on a treadmill. But that's just my personal preference. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna bang, fill out my journal. Um, gonna do like, uh, I think I wanna do an hour in the gym. I wanna get a swim done today, so I wanna do some swimming. Uh, if I do 40 lengths of the pool, that's half a mile swam. So I'm probably gonna, well, one of my goals for today is swim half a mile, 
Um, obviously, I can't eat or drink all day, so that's a challenge in itself. So I'm going to put down fast for Ramadan. Put that down on that. Fast for Ramadan. 12 hours. And yeah, I just wanted to... I think I'm going to call this video like day in the life of a six figure forex trader um because that's what i'm manifesting and you know i'm i know i'm not the best at like thumbnails or, or editing um right now but that's why i just I'm, I'm trying to just upload consistently so you know if if i upload consistently and keep doing this and stick to the youtube for long enough I know that my editing and my thumbnails will start to pick up but for now I'm just trying to do it so just so that I've, I've got the the schedule and the, the discipline to um, upload consistently so for now that's my focus so sorry that the videos aren't the most high quality in the world but for now I'm making these in my head for something to look back on when I've like made it if that makes sense so i can look back on all these and go no way look it was me when i was back in my nan's living with my nan and and um in a council flat and and like looking back all nostalgic at my old setup and and um and my progress and my journey so that's why I make these. I don't make these to be flashy or to have the best editing or the most clickbait thumbnails. I do this because I know that if I keep going in the direction that I'm going in, that I will achieve all my goals. So I really want something to be able to look back on and um, you know appreciate my journey and where I came from. And these are the best ways for me to do that. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, peace out. Catch you in a bit.